Yeah, that's right. You're not seeing double. It's not an optical illusion. I do have a second hula hoop. Smaller, obviously, than the first one. But we picked it up this evening after I picked Kylie up. Uh, this is going to be my other attempt at this. Uh, I don't know how much the difference, the uh, size difference, is going to make, but it, that'll be another inter interesting aspect of of uh, designing or not designing, but uh, trying this out. So we get to see maybe you know how how that affects performance and stuff like that. So just wanted to start this off with the uh, hula hoops, and we'll go on from here. first thing I found out is my goop has turned to goop <laughs> uh, it's just uh, not really doing very good uh, it's a little liquid it liquefied if you can see it there I don't know if the uh, hard stuff is at the bottom or what the deal is but I uh, can't very well use it this way I gotta find something to stir it with now this is an extra twiddle stick. I can use it for the time being, I guess. You don't see it's that way all the way to the bottom. Not sure why. It's not been in a extra hot or warm place or anything like that. So not sure why it turned that way. It's kind of weird. Maybe I need to let it get some air. It's been sitting, you know, sealed up since I used it with that. Uh, Ico FM tuner. How long has that been? So, I guess we're just stuck with some liquid liquefied stuff. So, hmm, not sure that'll do the same thing for that uh, those bushings or grommets, I should say. Well, we can give it a shot, I guess. If I can find something to put some in. Alright, I uh, have a little plastic cup there to put it in. This amount is overkill, but what the hey? Pop, put them in there one at a time, see what happens. Well, they're not sinking to the bottom. Well, yeah, they are going to the bottom. They're just slowly going to the bottom, I guess. Alright, let them sit there. Uh, let's see what time it is. On Monday, I'm thinking 24 hours that'll be fine. All right, it's 7:38 in the p.m. So around that time tomorrow, we'll check them and see what they look like. I'm gonna set them up out of the way so I don't knock that over. Of course, you know the first thing I'll do is say, "Oh, there's that cap for the tough stuff. I need to put that back on the tough stuff." <laughs> And that'll be the end of that, so. <sighs> it doesn't really look like, I think these are uh, wire round, wire round, wound, I can't even say it, uh, pot potentiometers. Pretty sure that one is. I think this one may be also. Can't be certain. I'll need to uh, get some readings see what this one is. I'm on 20, okay. 20k, yeah, it's 10k, alright, that's good. I'm not sure why I wouldn't get the reading before, but, yep, 10.08. That's right on the money. Ah, I'm happy with that. Okay, I was looking at it wrong. So it's 10.08 this one's perfect. Can't get no more perfect. I don't know about that one. If it, if it's a 1K, it's probably okay. I uh, don't know if that for sure, but you know, that's what we're looking at. So far, so good. All right, bring you back. All right, I got to looking at this. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but that's reading 800 ohms. Or that's what that says there, 800 ohms. So I think it was 7-something on the... Let's take it down to the next spot. 
Should measure seven something, I think. Pretty sure, anyway. So that means this one is good, really good. Well, it might help if I put it on ohms. You think? All right, eight point nine two, or eight point eight nine two, I should say. So it's eight hundred ninety two ohms. That's not bad. That that will work. That will work indeed. So our pots are good on the uh, C3. Have nothing to worry about there. And that's a good thing. So let's go back to this again. All right, what we have here is our cleaned off uh, ground lugs. Now that one should look the cleanest because it's brand new. <laughs> I was right in the middle of uh, uh, trying to clean one off, and my text went off and startled me, and it went on the floor. And once it goes on that floor, it's a little difficult to find, because I don't care what, where it comes from, it will go underneath something. It does not just stay out in the open. It never does. So anyway, that's all five of those cleaned off and ready to go. And I will be putting those into the goodie bag and move on to the next item. Alright, there we go with the uh, pots all cleaned up. That's uh, the uh, three on this one here. This is the 10K. It's fine dandy. And you can see all the terminals on the uh, 800K. Also cleaned on the switches. Looking good, looking good. Now these, uh, I noticed, were not soldered very good. Um, a lot of the uh, wire, when I went to uh, use the clippers on it, it would just pull off. So, I'm not sure if that was something to do with this type of uh, metal that it's soldered to or what, but i uh, got to remember to get that solder back on good when I, I do that. So there's another couple things for the baggie. Well, we have the uh, terminal strips all cleaned up now. There's a little one. Looks pretty good. All the wires off of it. That's the main thing. There's uh, another one. And there's our even bigger one. Looks pretty good. And the biggest one. I always save it for last. All right. Well, back once more to uh, show you the uh, two tube sockets, all cleaned out, ready to go, and those will go into the bag. All right. What we have here is the fi finishing touches on all the soldering terminals. Get this in frame here. There's one rotary switch. It hasn't been cleaned yet, but. Neither have the pots, so I may not clean those pots. If those are wire wound, they won't—they won't need to be cleaned. So there's the uh, both of the uh, solder or the uh, switch terminals are clean too. That completes the cleaning process. Put these back in the bag. So now all of the parts needed to do the C3 have been cleaned of solder and it's just a matter of now going through and checking the uh, parts and putting get some new, new resistors out and putting them in the parts list or bag or whatever you want to call it thinking about this uh, transformer I may, may try some alcohol on it see if it cleans it up a little bit not going to do a lot to it looks pretty good other than you know being a little dirty so all right well like I said that's that I think the uh, chassis you probably just use my tough stuff on it clean it up a little bit that'll be about it for it so I haven't worked on the uh, faceplate yet I have to do that with that so you guys have a pleasant pleasant evening it's uh, going on 1130 here I'm up again late. So, <laughs> I wanted to get this knocked out. Like I said, here's our bag of parts. 
So those are all looking pretty darn good. I'm impressed. I think it's going to be a fun build. I'm really happy about it. So you guys have a pleasant evening. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you. Back home, folks.